I'm uh, Kevin Sabet. I uh, am the president of something called SAM, Smart Approaches to Marijuana, which was co-founded by Congressman Patrick Kennedy. What we're seeing in the United States now, and I would argue we're seeing this in Canada also, um, is that we're seeing a massive new industry that doesn't care about little joints that you get a little high off of, but are producing super strength THC, THC is what gets you high in the brain, THC products in the forms of cookies, candies, ice creams, uh, you know, the things that make it attractive for children. Because in the global addiction business, you can't really make money unless you have drug addicts. And you can't make money unless you have get those addicts early when they're young and get them hooked on your product. It's the same thing that the global tobacco industry is doing. Obviously, we're in a region that has been significantly uh, hard hit by a massive, greedy industry, the tobacco industry. And we're fooling ourselves if we think that marijuana is, or cannabis is going to be somehow different. So, what we're seeing in Colorado, we're seeing more kids going to the hospital for uh, THC uh, poisonings because they're small children, they're seeing candies on the table and they're eating them and they're getting, you know, five-year-old brain to get, you know, 20 milligrams of THC is, is, is debilitating. We're seeing more drivers that are high on THC. We know THC really hurts reaction time and also uh, your general ability to recognize distance. And we're seeing driving accidents, not crashes, I should say, not just in Colorado, but in some of the other states. Um, we're seeing Colorado is now the number one state in the United States for youth marijuana use. Number one in the country, Colorado. It's not a coincidence that they've legalized. Um, and we're seeing a massive special interest lobby that is fighting any regulation that the government is trying to implement to safeguard kids or not have advertising, that industry is fighting it. So I think we're seeing a slow motion disaster happening right in front of our face.